the same guy that grabbed my phone punched me in the face on this side. A shopping trip in City Heights ended with a flurry of anti-gay slurs and a road rage attack. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, the victim's cell phone video shows some of that rage before it escalated. This is when Marco Aguirre started recording Tuesday afternoon when the fear crept in. Like a survival mode. Just an hour earlier, it was shopping mode. He bought some tortillas at a shop on University Avenue, and as he went to pull out. Back out and I light bump the car behind me. Aguirre says he saw two men emerge from a red sedan agitated. Aguirre apologized, offering to show his insurance, but... The driver came on my driver's side, and then the passenger came on this side, and both of them were screaming. With his cell phone, Aguirre, who is openly gay, capturing the profanities... How about that? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Camera. including a string of anti-gay slurs. Aguirre was frozen. I feel terrible. He says the insults went on for 15 minutes before he decided to get out of the car to assess the damage. I see no damage on my truck. I see no damage in their vehicle. Aguirre says when he stepped onto the sidewalk, he was attacked. One of the guys grabs my phone and smashed it in the sidewalk. The same guy that grabbed my phone Punch me in the face on this side. Aguirre says the two men got in the car and took off, leaving him with swelling under his left eye and determined to find the two men. Because police have not identified them as suspects in a crime, we have blurred their faces. I need to take a stand. This is my neighborhood, and I don't want to feel threatened in my own neighborhood. Michael Chen, 10 News. Uh, Gary says that he actually recorded the entire episode up until the phone was damaged, but only a minute or so ended up in the cloud. A copy of the video has been given to police. A computer glitch.